And here's the latest front in that arms race, your Saturday night takeaway. There we go. A nice chicken curry. It may not come with a label, but the main ingredient is chicken. Pure and simple. Or is it? We've used the latest scientific techniques to uncover a startling story of what's really in some of our takeaway chicken. Adding water is one of the oldest tricks in the food business. It's dirt cheap, and as long as it's labelled properly, is usually legal. Many chicken producers claim water makes their product more succulent, but it also increases their profits. In his role as head of food authenticity at the Food Standards Agency, Mark Wolf watched as the industry devised ever more cunning ways of putting water into chicken. There are multi-needle injection machines which can actually double the size of a chicken breast in 40 seconds. That's extraordinary. It's an extraordinary, but the product at the end of it is pretty awful actually. It's got no structure and people have described it as it's plastic chicken. And here it is, chicken that's nearly one-third water. Now, you might think you haven't eaten this, but you almost certainly have, because huge amounts of it go into our restaurant meals and takeaways. And to hold all that liquid in there, you need to use a protein powder, and that's often made of animal skin and bone, and that's where things get a bit messy. Back in 2003, a BBC Panorama investigation revealed some European companies were using protein powder from other animals to hold in the water. Um, you're allowed to use beef, you're allowed to use pork, you're allowed to use chicken, yes. you're allowed to use anything. Yes, uh, beef and pork is cheaper. Using pork and beef protein is legal so long as it's declared on the label. But the BBC's investigation tracked down the protein suppliers who were helping manufacturers to hide what they were doing. It caught them explaining how they could destroy the pork and beef DNA to make it undetectable. Well, we have uh, what we call PCR negative this protein, is what we were interested in which in. no animal species are detectable. Well, that's, but that's... This is, my, new, this is a new relative product. product. Yeah. No, no, it's uh, the product as such is already, but we, that is what I meant with our special techniques. I see. We can take off the DNA. With techniques like that, the food fraudsters were one step ahead of the food detectives. But six years on, we heard that the scientists were catching up with help from an unlikely source. A brand new technique developed by archaeologists to help them unlock the secrets of prehistoric life. It could now be used to discover what's in our food. We decided to put the science to good use we bought chicken breasts with added water from a number of wholesalers. The boxes said they only used chicken protein to hold in the water. But could we trust them? We took our chicken to the University of York, where Professor Matthew Collins leads a team of scientists developing the new test, a way of identifying animal species through proteins rather than just DNA. When analysing our samples, did you find anything that appeared not to come from chicken? Yes, we've, we've got proteins in there which appear to be mammalian and not chicken. Is it possible to be any more precise about what kind of mammal they might have come from? That's very difficult at the moment and that, this is the problem. Because we have insufficient numbers of animals in our database, we really can't be confident what they are. But how confident can you be that the materials in the samples that we gave you, some of it didn't come from chicken? I think we can be fairly confident it didn't come from chicken. 
So although our tests couldn't confirm exactly which animals were being used to make the protein, it clearly wasn't just chicken. We took our results to the two chicken companies involved, and one of them agreed to talk to us. Eurofoods is a big supplier of chicken to Indian restaurants with an annual turnover of 70 million pounds. Shalim Hussain runs the company. We've tested some of your chicken breasts and the results indicate there is non-chicken animal protein in there. What do you say to that? I'm actually totally shocked um, and horrified by it. We buy our uh, chicken ingredients, the chicken protein, from a re very, very reputable firm. We have written confirmation from them time and time again that the, all the protein we buy from them are chicken protein and nothing else. Shalim says he's so worried about what we've told him that he's decided to change the protein powder he uses and drop his supplier. Although they were saying the product is chicken protein, you have revealed uh, that a little bit of it may not be chicken protein and therefore we weren't satisfied. So I stopped using it. I went to vegetable protein. Producers like Eurofoods are regulated by the Food Standards Agency. So when we told Shalim about our findings, that's who he turned to. As soon as we heard, and we were so much concerned, we approached the FSA for clarification and advice and guidance, and we didn't get it, and we couldn't wait for them. We made, we made proactive actions, and we, now we don't add any chicken protein to any of our chicken at all. So what have the Food Standards Agency been doing about this problem? In fact, we learned they'd been running their own wider investigation into mislabeled protein in chicken for nearly a year. Do you acknowledge that chicken breast is currently being sold in Britain, which has protein from other animals within it? Do you think it's likely? I think we, we obviously need to look at the evidence very carefully. Well, you have been looking at the evidence. Absolutely. And the FSA have been involved in this so yes. for quite uh, a while. And tell me what you found. Uh, the, ev the evidence that we're picking up in these very small samples thus far is that powders used to, to hold water in chicken meat has got protein from those two other animal sources. Which are? Beef and pork. So somewhere along the line the fraud is still going on and this is more than just a matter of taste because a lot of the chicken with added water is labelled as halal and for Britain's Muslims the fact that they might unknowingly be eating pork even in small amounts is a huge worry. Dr. Shuja Shafi is the Muslim Council of Britain's food expert. How would you yourself feel if you had been eating chicken which turned out to have pork in it? I'll be extremely annoyed, extremely distressed, and if this is uh, a deliberate deception, then we would be very angry and would have every right to be angry. The Muslim community go to an extraordinary length of trouble to make sure that the products that they consume are free of ingredients uh, that are prohibited. So that's why we rely heavily on food labeling and to be reassured or to be told that those systems are in place and then find that that is in fact not the case is very annoying, very disturbing and would become extremely angry. Is it still the case that a year after you're alerted to it, British consumers are still eating chicken that may contain other animal protein, pork or beef? Our objective in, in setting standards for this and other types of food fraud is to ensure that we eliminate to the best extent possible. I appreciate it's your objective, but have you succeeded in making sure that it's not there? As, as each individual case of food fraud emerges, and this is clearly one of those where authenticity is, is, the, is the problem, we develop new technologies and we do as fast and as, as speedily as is possible to make sure that the science and evidence base gives us the opportunity to take out of the marketplace anything that doesn't conform to that labelling regulation. I think it's disgusting because they shouldn't be allowed to do that, should they? No, it's all wrong. Now, you knew that? Would you still Am I rapidly chicken? becoming a vegetarian here? It should be what it says should be in the meat. I think it's totally bad because in good faith you buy something for chicken. 
it's got pork and beef in. It's just, it's just not on. If it was in a chicken curry or a takeaway, I wouldn't be bothered. Wouldn't bother you? No, it's just meat. Not very ethical at all. You'd still eat it, wouldn't you? <laughs> Easily <laughs> pleased, wouldn't you? I would be concerned for people who would normally be able to eat chicken, but who, because of religious sensitivities, yep. wouldn't be able to eat pork. The worry about this is maybe not about safety. It may be perfectly safe, but is it moral? Is it acceptable? And is it what consumers expect? Those are the questions. Definitely consumers will not expect when they buy a product that says it's chicken to find that actually it's got pork in it. <laughs>